We're here at the court dedication of Henry Baker Sr. We have Henry Baker Jr. here with us today. Uh, Henry, just quickly, Henry Jr., right. Hank, as we'll call you, a little bit of everything else. I mean, how does it feel today having the court dedicated at Eastside High School to your dad? Well, it is an, it's a great honor, and you know, I know that the entire family is uh, more than thrilled about the dedication and the fact that my father's legacy will always be here on the floor where uh, he gave so many years of service to the community of Patterson and to the students in Eastside High School. And Zatiti Moody, uh, as the principal, come on over. As you know, Zat played for uh, Coach Baker, and he is now the principal of operations here at Eastside High School. What does it mean to the, in the basketball, perfect timing, uh, comes in. What does it mean to the Eastside community, the Patterson community, the New Jersey community, uh, the United States community, when you talk about Coach Baker having the dedication this evening? It means the world to us um, from a community standpoint on behalf of the administration, superintendent, and the community as a whole. As you can see from the fine young men behind us, uh, Mr. Baker's legacy uh, is, is, is goes without saying. It has a worldwide impact on some phenomenal young men he helped to raise. Um, and and I, I felt the obligation to ensure um, to the people of Patterson and all the former players that we made sure that the, the students of today understand their history, understand the shoulders that they they stand on, uh, so we make it a point not only to uh, reinforce the values that Mr. Baker instilled in us, but we want them to see this, his face on the court. We, that was done particularly so that we don't forget the man uh, and, and the legend who is, who is uh, Coach Baker. As you said, the legend, behind us we have some legends, not just at Eastside High School, but in the city of Patterson, New Jersey. Now, as we look around, who is the baddest Eastside player ever? Well, Murph, you told me earlier you was the baddest player ever, Murph. So come on down. Come on down. <laughs> but there's so many outstanding players here. And we're just going to come around. And, and I won't go by age. I won't go by age. But we're going to ask each of you guys just to say something about Coach Baker. And, you know, tell our viewing audience the year that you played for Coach Baker. Uh, I came out in 76. So from 73, 76, I played for Coach Baker. Uh, I don't know what to say. I never had to talk about somebody who got their face on the floor before, but uh, he, he meant a lot to us. He taught us a lot. Uh, matter of fact, we have a program, Positive Impact. We do the same thing that, you know, he told us, you know, kids in college. So it's not, I don't know what to say more than, you know, what these other guys got to say. I got one question. Who's uh -huh. a better scorer, you or Nikki? <laughs> You don't have to ask that. All right, well, Nikki, uh, can you answer that question for me? He was the better scorer because he never passed. Can you tell our audience first? <laughs> because he never can, passed. Can you tell our audience? Occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally. Occasionally. Now, you remember I used to be on the side, yeah. so you remember I'll that. pass you up, but still. <laughs> but, but, Nick, can you but, tell but your audience your... One other thing is, that wasn't my job to pass. <laughs> Rory's but, not here yet. Yeah, that, that was Rory's job. <laughs> Nick, can you tell our audience your year you played for Coach Baker? 73 to 77. And Mr. Baker, first of all, I got to say that I, I love the man. And I love the man, not the coach. I love the man because he tried to make us men. He, he taught us basketball players. He taught us life skills through basketball. And without him, I would not even be here today probably. He's the most honest and just integrity yep. man that I've ever met in my life. He's never told me a lot, and I just love him. That's pretty much it. That's it. Hey, Officer Thomas, we're going to work our way around. <laughs> yes, sir. Class of 74. Class of 74? Yes, sir. Something about Coach Baker. Yes, it was. He was a great man, a legend, and a spiritual man that always stayed on top of us. Uh, Officer Watkins? Class of 80. Being in this gym, it brings a lot of memories back when, when practicing and coming to games. I mean, he was like, um, he was like a father, a coach, a mentor, you know, and you know, he and he meant a lot to me. All right, let's work our way around here. Here we go, Carl. Well, I just like to say, first of all, bring back a lot of good memories being in the gymnasium here with a lot of past. And in your year, you played, so they know. I played from 76 through 79, and I have some former players here with me. But uh, I'm just surprised it took so long for it to be implemented, uh, this court to be named after Coach Baker. I mean, he really instilled a lot 
uh, and his players, and he taught us all the, everything that we know here. I, uh, I just want to add that as far as the banners are concerned, there's a lot of gentlemen here today who deserve a banner in this gymnasium who is not up there, and uh, I think that should be the next step. Well, we'll work on that next. You hear that, Mr. Moody? All right. Andre, you want to come on down real quick? Excuse me. Your years you played for Coach Baker? 75 to 79. Well, I ain't going to talk about the basketball aspect. I'm going to talk about the man aspect of Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker was a mentor, a teacher, a father figure to me because I didn't have one at home. So I was a single parent kid, but Mr. Baker was a man that taught me my values in life, and I still go by those principles today. Basketball was a minor thing. He taught me to, how to be a young man, how to live life, be honest, family man. You know, and that's the way I live my life today, and I appreciate everything that he taught me. And I had him in college and in high school, all right? Here we go, big guy. Co Coach Baker changed the culture of athletics and a student athlete at his side. I played 72, 74. Phenomenal man, phenomenal mentor, great coach. This should have been done a long time ago. Thank you so much for doing it. Appreciate it. Come on down, guys. Myron, come on around. Reverend Wilder? Yes, sir. Our class of 1973, we were the first team to win a county championship under the leadership of Coach Baker. One of the greatest things that he did as a coach and a man, he taught us life skills. And our success today was as a result of early on at 17, 18 years of age, developing life skills. And so that contributed into our adult life. And so it's great just to be a part of, of this dedication and his great legacy. Thank you. And for our viewing audience, can you tell our audience what you do now? I'm a pastor uh, of a church in the city of Patterson. The name of the church is Grace and Restoration Fellowship. And I pursue the purpose and will of God the same way I pursue basketball as a youngster. Yes, thank you, Reverend Wilder. Mark? Uh, my boy, class of 1975, 76. Uh, my biggest memory was my sophomore year with Coach Baker. Um, he told us that we could make it to the state finals if we worked hard. And sure enough, my junior year, went to the state finals, first time in a long time for Eastside. Unfortunately, we lost, but it set the foundation for the program, which is still continuing today. And I'm glad to be part of that and his legacy that got it started. And again, as I say, it's continuing today. May he rest in peace. Glenn? I'm Glenn Gardner. I'm a class of 73. I'm also a teammate of Jerry Wilder's. He stated before we were the first class that he had. But I think it was groundbreaking at that time because he was an individual that, at that time, I don't think there was any black head, head basketball coaches in the city of Patterson at that time. And we were his first team. As you said before, there was a lot of great players that played here. But I think the foundation of where it all came from is that first team that when he got started, we set the bar winning that county championship. So there was a bar that was set, and they just continued after that. And they just continued and continued. But one of the greatest things about the man, he, he brought, he brought, it, he brought, he brought, tried to bring the best out of you all the time. If any teams were out there that were, that were playing good, they, they had to be just better than us because they weren't going to outrun us. Gotcha. They definitely weren't going to outrun gotcha. us. Come on, Jerry. Come on, guys. Jerry Wimberly, 76 to 79. I want to say he was an excellent and great father figure and an excellent leader. And the thing that he taught me was how to be a father and how to be a leader to the younger kids in this generation. Thank you. All right. Xavier, come on over, Coach. Come on over. Coach Anderson. As you see, there have been so many lives that he touched, and this is just a little, little piece of it. And I'm not even talking about basketball. I'm talking about from track, from teaching, uh, camp director, you name it. Coach Baker did it. You name it. He's been there. But, Zay? Hey, um, as you heard, this man was greater than just a basketball coach. He was more of a life coach. And at the end of the day, I played for him 89 when he was a, when he was a junior college coach at Passaic County. 
Then when I graduated college, I came back and I coached with him for a number of years, not only basketball, but track. And what I learned from the man was about life, not necessarily about coaching or about the sport. So, you know, that, that was his impact on my life. Appreciate it. Mo, come on over. How's everything? I'm just just your, your name and year you played? Clarence Mosley, um, 6973. Football. I was big. Impact of Coach Baker. Oh, like a father. I was there when you first started. I know him as Baker from um, 65, Grammar school. school. School school 21. Baker's at 15 up on the hill. I go way back at that man. <laughs> way well, back. Well, there, there you have it. Not just basketball, grammar school, football, track, you name it. Coach Baker's part of it. The ceremony will be short.